Hi everyone, welcome back to a video on my channel. It feels like it's been absolutely forever since I sat down and filmed a nail design video. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to do a bit of nail art because that was basically what this channel was made for. And it seems like it's been ages since I did any. Um, apologies for being MIA recently. I've just, yeah, I've just hit a bit of a, I don't know. To be honest, I don't really have like a major reason for it. Like there's not anything specific happening at the moment or anything like that. Like we're just obviously settling into our new home doing stuff with that um we've now got my brother's dog so I'm, I'm walking the dog a lot like just I don't know I don't really have a great deal of reason behind it like I'm just just busy basically like life's just gotten in the way a little bit at the moment and unfortunately um it means that I took a little bit of a step back from YouTube because out of all the things that I need to fit into my uh day youtube unfortunately has just become over the past couple of weeks a bit less of a priority but i know i'm doing something off camera which makes no sense because i'm just talking rubbish and not even showing you what i'm doing but all i'm doing is just painting this nail and i've painted another one as well i just popped that in the lamp i just want to get them done so i can work on them straight away um so my plan is for this set i'm going to be using penelope which is this beautiful pink color from from gel perfection i'm using this nude color from gel box uk monthly boxes and it's called blush martini i'm using this foil here which is absolutely beautiful and then i'm also using a stamping plate because i'm going to layer some foil on top of some stamping because i love this effect here so that's what we're doing in this video i need to make a bit of space on my desk because at the moment it's very very cluttered and it is stressing me out quite a lot um so basically we're going to be doing i'm just going to do the two like basically plain nails first just because obviously it's really quick and we can get them out of the way um but i'm also going to need another nail that is just completely full nude because we're going to be doing a full nail of the stamping and foil over this one so i'm just getting that nice and even this color is honestly so beautiful and this and the other pink that i've chosen match the foil that i'm using in this set absolutely perfectly like they go together so well it's unbelievable so i'm just gonna pop that into cure while i'm messing about with these two so these are the colors look they go with each other really well and they also go with this foil really well so we've chosen well there so i'm going to be using evil foil gel and what I'm going to do, first of all, is on these nails, I'm not going crazy. Like, I'm literally just going to do a little bit of foil on both of them. Not any full coverage stuff, because we're going to be doing full cover on the other nails, and I don't want it to be too much. So, I'm just going to cut a bit of this foil off so it's easier to use. I'm probably going to use this area and this one. So, I'm just going to cut it about here. And then just get rid of that for a second putting that to the side so on these like i said just stamp just foil on these no stamping so i'm going to go in with my foil gel and to be honest i'm just going to pop it in the corner or whereabouts basically that i'm going to be using the foil because there's no point painting the whole nail because it's just a waste so i'm just going in with my foil gel making sure it's nice and smooth application not really thick anywhere where it's not going to cure properly or not too thin where it's going to cure too much and then once i'm happy i'm going to pop that into the lamp for 30 seconds i'm also going to do the same sort of thing on this one just put the foil gel where i need it obviously i haven't removed the tacky layer from the rest of the nail so there is a chance that we might get a bit of foil somewhere we don't want it but it's not the end of the world we'll just remove it so i'm going to put both of those nails into the lamp for 60 seconds to cure those just in the meantime i'm going to do the second coat of my full nail I'm going to pop this one back in while I do the other one. And I also need to do the other two, but I've not got enough um, blue tack, which is quite annoying. So I don't. Oh, I've got another one with blue tack on that I could get going with. So with this one, we're going to have both colours on it. I'm going to do the nude majority of the nail 
I am just using the bottle brush just because mainly because I'm lazy. Obviously, if you feel more comfortable using a nail art brush, do that to get your line neat. And then I'm going to pop that into the lamp. Then when it comes out, I will do a second coat of this off camera. Just getting the ones with foil gel on out now and I'm going to just pop my images on there. So on this one I'm going to use the lighter flowers and on the lighter nail I'm going to use the darker flowers just so there's a bit of contrast. Let's just zoom in, get rid of my uh, fallen eyelashes. I'm surprised I've got any left on my face at this point. <laughs> and then I'm going to get this and I'm going to go ahead and apply... In fact I might even use that top one. No. I'm going to use this here so I'm just going to cut out this image here that I'm going to want to use on the other part of the, on the other nail there we go just get rid of that and then I'm going to just also cut off this bit here because I don't want that I'm just basically cutting around the area that I do want to stick get rid of anything that I don't so it's out of the way like so and then once I'm happy I can place it on my nail obviously making sure that I do stick it to where I've put the foil gel and popping that straight on and then pushing it down I'm being careful with my thumb because there is foil gel on there that I haven't covered in foil. Obviously, I don't want to be pushing down on that to take it off because it's easier, I think. It's very difficult with these display tips to use foils, to be honest. But we're going with it. It's fine. I absolutely love floral foils, so spring is obviously great. This is like a very spring-inspired set. I will take off the tacky layer of the rest of the nail in a second because I've put my hands all over it now so it's all dusty. Let's just get that down first. Once I'm happy with that I'm just going to sort this out so I can put it back on. I'm sort of using that foil to put pressure on the nail so I don't have to put my hand on top of the foil. So that's that nail looking very pretty. I'm just going to get my clean up brush. I'm basically just going over the rest of the nail to get off any oh gosh <laughs> I didn't mean to do that obviously that was not part of the plan I don't have enough um what's it called blue tack which is very frustrating but what can you do I know what I can do I can buy some more but I just keep forgetting I'm just getting rid of anything that shouldn't be on the nail basically at this point so that's that nail all i need to do is top coat that one so i'm going to put that to the side for a minute and i'm going to get this one now so obviously this is going to have the the lighter flowers on it we just want them in the top corner and i think too crazy like so so i'm just pressing that down and then putting pressure where the foil is so i'm attempting to keep it on the on the holder but we'll see if it comes off it comes off i'm just trying to be gentle like firm enough but gentle enough to keep it on there but we'll see how that goes i'm going to just peel it off in a bit slow motion just so i can keep an eye on what's stuck and what isn't obviously i've just pulled it off now this leaf here isn't stuck let's get this back on there let's get that bit of gel off There we go. Then I'm just going to do what I did to that last nail. Get off stuff that's not meant to be on here that I've just got on there by dropping it. And then this nail is also ready for top coat. I'm 
like that. So that's those two done. And then next up, we're going to do, well, we're going to do the second half of this off camera. So with this full nude nail, like I said, we're going to be doing some stamping and then some, some foil. So we're going to do the stamping first. So I'm just going to get some tissue underneath my stamping products because it's a very messy situation when stamping is involved. So like I showed you earlier, I'm going to be using this image here. This is the plate that I'm using. It's very, very pretty. It's got some lovely images on it. Very nice. And like I said, we're going to be using this top corner one. I'm going to be using white, which is the Moyu one. So I'm just going to clean off the plate to make sure it's ready for me to use. And then we can get straight into it. So let's see if I can get the plate on camera. There we go. Just try it the lid off my polish, which is proving difficult. So I'm just going to go straight over the image. And then straight down at a 45 degree angle. And then in with my stamper. And then we're going to pop it straight over the top. Now it's a little bit too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pressure on up here. And then I'm just going to pull it downwards. Like so. Got a little hair on there. Okay, I just did really quickly do it again off camera just because it was... Why is my camera gone so strange? Because there was a hair in it and it was doing my head in and I ruined it by trying to get the hair off. So I have just quickly done it again, but obviously I've done it the exact same way that you saw me do it, just minus the hair this time. So once I've done that, I'm going to give it a minute to dry. I'm just getting rid of my stamping stuff. Well, no, I'm not getting rid actually. What I am going to do is actually just do the stamping on this nail while I've got it out. So... This time I'm going to use the edge of the image. Just using my lint roller first of all to get off the excess. And then I'm going to go in and pick up the image again. Like so. And then I'm going to use the left side of it this time. To just go over the side of the nail that has that nude colour on. Like so. So we've got both of those like that. And then that is all the stamping that I'm doing. So I'm going to get rid of my stamping now. And then by the time I've done that, these nails will definitely be dry as well. Um, this nail here, I'm going to be doing the darker pink on the other side of it. So I'm just going to go in with that now. So I can put that in the lamp. too much product on there so I'm just going to drag some off again you can use a nail art brush would probably be much easier to be honest with you you'd have a lot more control but I'm lazy and can't be bothered to get one out so I'm just going with it and hoping for the best basically so that's how that looks like I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my foil gel on this nail I'm going over the whole nail and I'm almost putting way too much on to start with, really floating it over to make sure that all of that stamping polish is properly encapsulated. And then once I've done that and it is definitely covered, that's when I'll start to go back over and take off the excess and go over it a bit more neater. And once I'm happy, I will pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds. OK, so we've got this full nail of, of foil to do now. So I'm going to just pick... Whereabouts I want the image to be. I want the large one and the little pieces to be on there. So I'm just going to pop it straight down the middle like that. And then I'm just going down the centre of the nail to make sure that's all nice and smooth. And then you can go sideways with it. Obviously it's going to be difficult on there. So I'm just going to take it off to make life a bit easier. Really put pressure on it. Like so. And then once I feel like I've put pressure absolutely everywhere, I can start to peel it off again slowly. And then you'll see whether it's stuck or not. And if it isn't, just pop it back down and press it down again. 
I'm going to put it back on here now while the foil's still on it so I don't have to put my fingers all over it. And then I can just use that to just peel off. So that's the full nail. So we've got three nails now. And then this nail, like I said, is going to be half the same as that full one. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foil gel to that. Again, making sure to put a little bit too much on to really make sure that it's really nice and even over the stamping. And then I'll just keep painting over it a little bit to make sure it's really coated. And then I'll put that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Oh gosh. And I just need to figure out what I'm going to do for the fourth one. I think for the fourth one, I'm going to add a bit of glitter onto this somehow. So I think for the fourth one, I'm going to paint the fourth nail full glitter just to tie it in a little bit. Okay, so on this half and half one, I'm going to use this bit of foil here and I'm just going to stick it straight on. Smooth that out a bit so it's nice and smooth. Like so. And then once I've got that middle bit straight, I'm then just going to put pressure down the sides again. Like so. And then just lift it up slowly. Find out where it needs a little extra help. Not too worried about the centre line because I'm going to be covering that anyway. Perfect, so that's that one. Now, because we've got majority nude on this set, I think the fourth nail needs to be pink. And I've also decided I'm going to go over that pink with the newer one that I got in the box last time of this one, Careless Whisper from the Gelbox UK, because it is just beautiful and it's holographic and I just need it in my life. So this nail is finished. I've top coated it as well to get it off the thing so I can use this. So I'm just going to quickly do two coats of Penelope um and a coat of that glittery color over this spare nail i'm not going to do it all on camera just because that's literally all i'm doing is just painting the nail the full color um and then i'll come back to do that center line okay so i want to incorporate some of this glitter into the other nails now to tie them all into that one um, i'm not doing anything with this one because there's already a lot going on with that one anyway um with this nail i'm going to do it like a outline because it's quite subtle so I don't think it's gonna like do too much and ruin it so I think we're going with it I'm just gonna outline that image like so And that's it i'm just keeping it that simple because i don't want to go too crazy and i'm going to do the same thing with this one actually i think with this one what i'm going to do is outline the whole nail like so nothing too crazy just a nice thin line not too thin obviously because you want to be able to see it but i don't want it to be too thick where it's overpowering because there's already a lot going on with this set So that's that one and obviously this one we're just going to do the line straight down there now, this isn't like a really pigmented gel it is more like the type of glitter that you would put on top of another gel but i think for this it's going to work perfectly because again we don't want anything too crazy perfect i'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure i'm going to top coat them all off camera and then i'll show you what they look like when they're done so here is the finished look. I absolutely love how they turned out. That foil is stunning and looks really, really pretty over that 
crisscrossy background and that pink is just beautiful this glittery one um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and being patient and waiting for another video um and i'll be back soon with another video bye